Okay, before I start this video, I just want to say um, I'm using Bandicam to record my games and to actually record my screen. I think it's a really good software. You should check it out, download it, get the trial, buy it. It's great. It's best. It's the best. It works for me. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Um, hey guys, today I will be teaching you how to reduce lag for Smite. This game is really fun, it's free, I tried it out, I found it really good, and I was lagging at first, but I fixed that, and I'll show you how. So, first part of this video, we're gonna be going through the settings. So, let's go to video tab, and world detail, you wanna put that at minimum, there's really no difference. If you can see here, there's, I mean, the grass kind of looks okay this part you can see that it's kind of low but it doesn't really make a difference altogether when you're playing the game it's a it actually makes it better I think like this is kind of more vibrant like it gives you a more vibrant feel and it l makes the game look better that's just my opinion so yeah world detail minimum texture that's for your minions and your character I put that medium uh, if you lag, put it on low. Shadow detail. Um, I will be showing you a config later where you can actually turn off your shadows. Shadow detail, you want that at minimum because shadows, believe it or not, they take the most CPU, GPU usage for a game. And if you put that to the highest, uh, you'll get like lag. So I put mine at minimum. Shader, I keep that medium. Particle particle details. I hate particles. I put that low. Resolution if you're lagging, of course, scale that down. Anti-aliasing, aliasing. Turn that off. It also takes your. It also it also takes um, a lot of CPU GPU usage when you're gaming. Same thing here with effects. You want to turn these both off. Vertical sync. I'm pretty sure you know what that is. And for low end gamers. I'm pretty sure you know that's bad. Ragdoll physics, that's ragdoll physics for minions. It's annoying because I don't want minions flying up to the sky. I put that off and it also helps with performance. Audio, nothing really to change here. UI, you want to turn off the help tips and map guides. I think it does, I think it boosts performance. I'm not even sure. Like. I turn it off because because you know for CSGO game instructor thing if you play it you'll understand and the auto exec if you have download mine whoa you'd actually know what these are I think these kind of work the same thing so yeah I turn mine off color colorblind correction turn it off for best performance controls you wanna if you like inverted put it on mouse smoothing you want to turn that off it smooths your mouse and causes yada yada stuff you want the most raw mouse input for the game so it's much better and stuff restricted camera pitch turn that off disabled joystick input yep turn that off allows more ram and stuff free ram because you the game doesn't have to detect joysticks or controllers for the game Targeting, nothing here. Key binding, spectator, nothing here. So yeah, this kind of looks really good. I mean, for medium, yeah. This is with Radeon Pro settings, and I'm recording at about 40 FPS. That's my average. As again, I don't have a good computer, so yeah, 40 FPS is what you get. And yeah, so that's it with settings, so I'm gonna go back to my windows and actually show you config files. Okay, so okay, so I'm gonna leave this file that you should download, you export. There you get this folder, open it, you just wanna ex extract these. Okay, so oh, you open up documents, let's move that there, my games, my... Make sure it's my and you don't select high res launcher. If you actually select high res launcher, it pops this up and you don't want that. You want smite, battle game, 
config and here you want you to replace this into here so take these replace all of it I'm not gonna do it because I already have it replaced and yeah it's basically tweak tweaked files and it's much better by the way if you replace this it replaces all your settings and everything so you have to re-edit it again and yeah so if you're if you're a Nvidia user if you're a Nvidia user thanks for watching this video you're all done if you're an AMD user you can still keep watching this video because there are other options for you so you're gonna download this program called Radeon Pro and you wanna add the game smite and make sure okay look if you open smite open file location you see high res launcher UI you don't want the launcher make sure you do not select that you want the actual game see if you look at here oh, let's go here see this is the actual path for the game see program files high res studios yeah I actually might add that in the reg file hold up Yeah, there you go. I added it into the file so you know where to go. And it sh this application should pop up. It should be called Smite. I'm not going to press open because I already have it added here. So you want to do is visual. Copy everything I have. Yeah. Advanced. Copy everything I have. Force triple buffering. You want that unchecked. That's basically like VSync. Triple buffering has something to do with VSync and you don't want that. Texture filtering quality. If you get extreme lag, check it and put it to performance. But I don't really need it, so I uncheck it. Flip queue size. The higher it is, the less lag, but the higher it is, the more mouse lag. So, yeah. Higher values improve performance, but introduces mouse lag. Lower values basically mouse lag does not exist but performance poopy tweaks just you want to vsync control you want that always off and cpu affinity you want to check all your cores for the best performance force process high priority and you want to go here to overdrive you just press this it should be locked by default press unlock and check these two right here. Don't even touch anything. Just check these two. Then press apply changes. And boom. You're good to go. And by the way, let's go to settings first. I wanted to show you this. You have to start it with Windows. Because if you don't, you're just going to run the game. And there's not really a performance change. So you want to run with Windows. And if, you're run if you don't want it running with Windows, ru um, run Radeon Pro and then run your game. So yeah, just copy what I have here. I changed some settings because, yeah, I'm cool. Nothing to change here. Optional, 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 optional. This, just check this because, yeah, you need it. So it doesn't monitor games that are not listed in your profile list. And you only want games to be monitored by the application tier. Yeah, stuff. I can't talk. Optional. Optional. Then you press save and then boom. There you go. Exit. Exit. And that's literally it. You're good to go. Play Smite. That's it. Have fun. No lag. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Be sure to like the video. Subscribe. And peace out. Nope.